This exercise uh, provides a lot of peace of mind for our constituents that will be in their beds on a nice pillow knowing that uh, you know we have friends uh, to help out in the case of another flood or any other disaster. Truly Venture is all about our readiness, both individual and collective. Well, I think we've seen over the past number of years that the CAF has deployed several times to help uh, local authorities deal with you know, fires, floods, you know, um, support to long-term care and others. And this exercise is designed to get our soldiers out on the ground practicing those uh, vital skills. What we will be doing is we will be teaching the various uh, other units here how to operate, whether it's assault boats or uh, heavy equipment or chainsaws, uh, to simulate, if there were an emergency, the types of things that we might be doing. So, uh, for example, if the bridge were out and we needed to get people across, one of the ways we could do that is with our assault boats and a captive ferries. Going out and doing this uh, for real amongst the Canadian population does a couple things. One, it allows us to test our command and control, test our sustainability, and logistics footprints uh, and as well it just gives a chance for our soldiers to interact uh, with Canadians in a way that they would be doing every day during a domestic operation and so getting out there with the population working with uh, local municipal provincial leadership other governmental organizations you know first responders at all levels uh, this is kind of critical to ensure that we have that synchronization ready to go in case we uh, we are called it provides a unique perspective, uh, taking into consideration all the civilian aspects of traffic, uh, people walking around. That is something that we don't get to experience on a typical exercise on a Canadian Armed Forces base. Um, and it really just creates uh, realism to the training that we're experiencing this weekend. In terms of uh, capabilities, you, you know, we are going to test a new command and control digital system to, uh, to be able to monitor in real time the movements of, uh, of our troops and what they're doing as a comms tool, which includes everything up to a consolidated air picture. You know, this is uh, a lot of times with the Army Reserves, this is where we're utilized. There's obviously a lot of moving parts. So being able to do some dry runs, see where our deficiencies are, where our strengths are. Um, you know, if we can do this now, when we're not in an emergency scenario, it just makes us more efficient when we do have to deploy and time is of the essence.